Let's learn how to use the Onion Skin and the Out of Bex features of Calibek. The Onion Skin allows you to see what's before and after your current sheet. You have different ways to manage your Onion Skin settings in Calipeg. You can enable or disable it with that icon in any layer. You can long touch on that icon to access the shortcuts to activate up to 8 sheets before and 8 sheets after your current drawing. You can set the opacity here. You can lock the opacity to link them or unlock it. And you can also access those settings in the settings here, onion skin. But the main way to manipulate your onion skin is the onion skin bar, which you can hide or show with the dash and that icon. From there, you can see your current sheet here. It will change depending on where you are in the timeline. You can tap on the current frame to enable or disable the out of pegs, which we will see right after. And to activate the onion skin on a specific sheet, you can just tap on it. A long touch and drag will allow you to change the opacity. You can also tap on that and use that value here. A double tap to enter a specific value. And you can deactivate that frame. You can enable or disable the entire onion skin here. And it will affect every single layer. Tap here to access the colors of the sheets before and after the current one. You might be used to a specific color code, so you can just change it here. Then in the menu, you have access to different options. You can have a dynamic display, which will adapt to the size and zoom of your timeline. Or you can have a static display, in which you can always see the eight squares before and the eight squares after. And you can enable at any time. And for example, here, there will be a line in them because currently there is no sheets in those positions. But if I go there, I have one in the second position. So it will adapt to the situation. And you can always long touch for opacity and tap for the menu. I personally prefer it to be dynamic. Then you can link the sheet's opacity. It's the same option you can get here and here. And it's a nice way to be sure that any drawing closer to your current drawing will have a higher opacity so you can just see it with a quick look. Then you can decide to render as color or image. For example here, if I set it to color, it will be these colors here for before and after. But if I set it to image, it will be the image and the original colors of my drawings. So I can always see, for example, my shadows and my lights, even if it's on the same layer, which can be back here or front. And you can see it better with the colors. So here it's front and here it's back. I prefer the onion skin to be rendered in the back so I can draw over it. Okay, so that's it for the onion skin and we are going to see now the out of pegs features. The out of pegs is a way to move your onion skin without actually moving the content of your sheet. It's like taking your paper and just move it around to have, for example, the correct shape for your character. As an example here, I have my character and in that sheet here, I want the head to be there. So I can just enable one drawing before and then normally I would have to draw and then flip and do my best to have it at the correct place with the correct volume, which is of course not easy. So I just delete that and now I will enable the out of pegs. So I tap here on the current one or I can go here and activate out of pegs. And now I tap on that one, edit out of pegs, and I can see here a transformation box around my character and I can move it here. But if I disable the out of pegs, it hasn't moved. It's a display of your onion skin in a different location, just to help you draw over it. And now if I scrub or if I play or if I flip, I can see the correct position of my drawings. But what I can also do is tap here and make it visible on the current frame. 
That way, when I flip, it will be in the same location. And that's a great way to just animate on a still location. For example, a head turning around and keep the volume consistent and you will be able to flip to be sure it works. For example, there, I could enable a few other ones. Edit out of pegs and then move it here. Edit another one, move it here. And the last one and move it here. And at any time, I just tap here and the out of pegs will be off and I can enable it again at any time. In that situation, for example, it's better to have colors, maybe. And if there is too much, you can just deactivate it. If needed, you can also reset in the menu and it will be back to its position. When you edit an out of pegs, you can just tap to validate or flip. When an out of pegs transformation is currently active on a sheet, it's orange and it's gray or white or black if it's not currently being transformed. And when an out of pegs transformation is active on the current frame, it also becomes orange. And if I reset, it becomes dark again. When you are in the visible on current frame option and you edit, you can see all your sheets of paper with the pegs here. So you can see how it is transformed, rotation, scale. You can have kind of an animation desk here. If I validate, I don't see them anymore, unless I go to the settings here, onion skin, and show all. And now you can see everything if that's what you want to do. But I personally prefer to just have like that. And now I can just go to the menu and reset all to put everything back to the original location. And just so you know, when you edit an out of pegs, you can see here the origin and a path. So you can see where it's uh, coming from. And regarding that menu here, you can flip horizontally, vertically, you can reapply, and you can also reset from here. And that's it for the out of pegs feature in Calipate.